In this class, I will discuss how we can measure the dielectric constant of a dielectric material by resonance method. And let's see the apparatus for the measurement of the dielectric constant. Okay, and this is the circuit diagram for the measurement of the dielectric constant. This is a radio frequency oscillator and this is the position where the variable capacitor to be connected and this is the variable capacitor and these are the two terminal of the variable capacitor okay and this is the position of the test capacitor to be connected here and this is the test capacitor there are two aluminum plate and these are the two terminal of the test capacitor okay so first switch on the instrument the instrument become on now connect the variable capacitors yes and another terminal yes first i have to adjust the sensitivity of the instrument by using sensitivity knob this is the sensitivity knob and by using it the sensitivity should be adjusted about 80 okay now check the sensitivity so this is the maximum reflection sorry this is almost the maximum reflection and the corresponding value of the capacitor this is 100 and 100 to 150 there are 10 division so <coughs> each division corresponding to 5 picofarad actually this in picofarad range so the value of cn this is c1 and almost 105 so let here this is the data recording table and this is the value of c1 here the value is 105 in the unit of picofarad okay now connect the test capacitor here so test capacitor connect here another terminal yes now this is the dielectric material of uh, thickness 3 mm and place here and it should be tight by using these two knob okay now again i have to check the sensitivity okay so this is the maximum deflection so almost yeah. 
this is the maximum deflection and this is the value and this is 50 and this is 60 and this is 70 so this is the value of C2 with test capacitor with dielectric in it and this is 70 picofarad here this is the dielectric okay and the thickness of the dielectric material is 3 millimeter so here we write the data, data in the position of the 3 millimeters okay now remove the dielectric materials and again check the sensitivity the maximum reflection is this is the maximum reflection okay this is the maximum reflection and the value almost 90 okay so this is 90 this is the test capacitor without dielectric there is no any dielectric material and during the whole experiment the sensitivity sensitivity knob remain at the same position so these are the data for 3 millimeter and if we use the dielectric material this is 3 millimeter and this is 1.5 millimeter so it will be 4.5 millimeter and using the these two dielectric material we can record the data for the position of the 4.5 the value of c1 c2 and c3 and the same way we can using there are three plate of two three millimeter sorry this is three millimeter this is 1.5 millimeter and another one three millimeter so by using these two we get six millimeter thickness of the dielectric material and by using three dielectric material we will get 7.5 millimeter thickness of the dielectric material so we can take all the data by using these three dielectric material and this is the working formula for the measurement of the dielectric constant here c1 minus c2 by c1 minus c3 and c1 is the value of the standard variable capacitor at resonance and the value is here 105 okay and c2 is the resonance point for with sorry with test capacitor with a dielectric material and this is 70 and c3 is the resonance value without dielectric and this is 90 okay and using this formula we can easily calculate the value of k for 3 millimeter and again by using 4.5 millimeter 5 millimeter thickness we can record the c1 c2 c3 and we can calculate the value of k in the same okay thank you